Um, welcome. Uh, thanks for having me, everyone. Um, happy to be here. Uh, I'm excited. I've only been to San Mateo once, so it's kind of cool to come back here. Um, yeah, so this is uh, kind of my intro to this. Have you ever seen a presentation that just starts their slide off with, like, hello? And that's it. And they just kind of ramble about that. Like, I don't like that. I was trying to figure out something else to do. And then like, I, I got really caught up in this slide. This is a, kind of this weird tangent that I'm going to go on. Um, just like, like, what's up is kind of like a weird thing to say. Um, because there's like a lot of apostrophes and like question marks. So I want to like simplify that. It's like, oh, what's up? And then it's like, why is this such a question? Because I'm not actually asking any of you what's up, because I don't really want a response at this point. So a super underrated term is like, sup. So I'm just going to go with that. Uh, it's sweet to the point, And it's like a question that doesn't really demand an answer. And I really like that. So um, like I was told, or like you were all told, I am Alex Paterik. Um, I'm a senior experience designer at Adobe. I've been there for a few, few years now. Um, uh, I think you all know Adobe. Uh, we brought you Flash Player and Acrobat updates. And that's kind of like our uh, claim to fame. Uh, just a quick. Uh, Kind of tally. How many of you guys are do design work? We have a, okay, so we have a handful. Um, are you guys using Adobe software or other software? Um, generally, Adobe. Cool. Um, so this presentation's kind of going to give you a perspective from the design side of the business, um, and we're going to show you like prototyping. Um, I guess the next slide is actually better for this. I'm going to give you a little introduction to like who I am and what I do. Um, then I'm going to give you a demo of XD, just so you guys can have context to what I'm going to be talking about in the future. Uh, and then I'm going to talk about kind of uh, where Adobe, Adobe XD is um, and how it became a product, because it kind of was nothing just a few years ago. And then we've kind of risen it in, in the company to be its own product. Um, and then I'm going to let you guys ask me some questions. Um, and then we'll take it from there. Um, so a little bit about me. Um, I'm from Detroit originally. Uh, so that's where O2 Creative Solutions was, which was mentioned in my last job. Um, we did a lot of kind of interesting work. Uh, we did a lot of live events, but alongside a lot of live events, we did a lot of um, UI design, we did motion graphics, we did a lot of reveals. Um, these are incredibly hard things to prototype for. Uh, these are things that you really have to build a consensus around when you're uh, when you're showing this to the clients, because you can see some of these ideas. Just speaking to them, you're not going to get the point across. And the client's not always going to sign off on that. And that's a huge part of uh, the prototyping process. So just like a quick little thing, like motion prototypes are a huge part of it. Uh, you can see I have this like kind of faux 3D rendering where we had these giant screen displays where all of these things are kind of working together. Um, so sometimes it included building uh, actual working programmed uh, prototypes. Sometimes it was just projection mapping um, just in our office. Um, but like everything in Detroit, uh, everything was really car related. Um, I'm not the biggest car fan, uh, admittedly. Uh, but everything we did revolved around it. So it was like Toyota, uh, Chrysler, um, GM, those kind of things. Uh, we occasionally got really cool products like Project Runway. We, we went on uh, set with them. and trained the clients or the contestants in our software and worked with them, which is really cool. Uh, but I was really thrilled when uh, Adobe uh, reached out to me, um, specifically the Adobe Design Department. Um, they've seen some of the work I've done, the prototyping I've, I did, and all the, um, the in I do a lot of programming alongside with all of my uh, design work. Um, so that was appealing to them. They reached out to me, and I did an interview with them. And they, uh, they, they got me on board. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so just to give a little context to what Adobe Design is, uh, it's actually this, it's an independent organization within Adobe. So we have products like XD, uh, Illustrator, Photoshop, After Effects, um, all of those things. Those are all product teams. Uh, we don't, we're not actually on those product teams. We actually are kind of resourced for them. So they reach out to us, and then we form a team, and then we say, OK, this team's going to be dedicated to you for a little bit, um, and then give you support on features and designs. And uh, when I say design, uh, I'm not just saying uh, the pixels of it all. We actually design the entire experience out. We say, this is how the user wants to interact with this. And then we kind of go through this entire process. And then they, they work, we work with the product managers and the en engineers on that. Um, a really appealing part of joining the team was I got to be on Adobe Design Studio. Uh, it's now called Design Lab. But uh, Studio Team's really unique in Adobe. Uh, it's sort of this startup within the Adobe Design um, uh, organization. 
And what that means is that we actually look at gaps in our products and we try to fill them. So we say uh, we're missing uh, something in the, motion, in the motion world and we say, how can we approach that? Um, we also look at future technologies and what's coming up and how we can actually introduce that into our product lineup. Uh, so what was really interesting about that was we were able to create our own ideas. So I would go to my team and my managers and I would pitch an idea to them. And I would say, hey, I think we're missing this and I think we should do this about it. And they would say, hey, that's a dumb idea, or they'd say, that's a great idea, and let's go forward with that. And if they gave us the green light, uh, they'd say, you have two weeks, now work on this, and kind of prove out that this is something that people want to do. Um, so at the end of two weeks, if they decided that this, was, this has wheels, this is something that people want to see, um, we just kept going until we decided that, let's park this for a while, like this isn't going anywhere anymore. Um, so the things we, we kind of worked with were like multi-screen interactions, uh, machine learning things, uh, virtual reality, augmented reality, just all future technology, a lot of the buzzwords in today's, uh, in today's world, um, and seeing how we can actually put that into Adobe products. Um, so it was, it was a lot of fun at the time. Our manifesto was kind of create prototypes for future tools. Um, and then the Adobe XD product team uh, and the design team that was working on it reached out to me. and they said they wanted me to work with them kind of on the side, and I did do that. So I created these prototypes for their tool, um, and then I joined their team full-time, and I started creating tools for future prototypes. So in this whole like, sequence of events, I'm always kind of working on the two things that I really like to work on, and that's design tools and prototypes. Uh, so to give a little bit more context, like what is Adobe XD? Um, Adobe XD is uh, kind of a new age um, of Adobe products. Um, it lets you prototype things and design things in the same product, and it lets you share things. Um, that's kind of the fundamentals of uh, what we're looking for with this. And it looks a lot different than most uh, Adobe software you'll see. It's very clean, it's very focused. Um, it's not going to get in your way. It's going to let you do what you wanted to do. 